Are you tired of waiting forever for your freefall drop ride to reach the top and just wish it could move a little bit faster? Or do you want to speed up that elevator so that it stops filling up its queue line? Well, in this episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials, I'm going to show you how to speed up all of the tower rides in Roller Coaster Tycoon, from the observation tower to the elevator to the roto drop and the launch freefall. So let's get started. I'm going to build an observation tower to start and then make sure it has an entrance and exit. And then we're going to turn on some cheats. So we need to turn on the allow chain lifts on all track pieces, unlock operating limits, and then allow arbitrary ride type changes. So now with the cheats turned on, we can turn the chain lift on for the rest of the track pieces. So as we move up the tower, the chain lift is turned on. And then now we can go and change the ride to something, any roller coaster where you can change the lift speed. So let's make it eight miles per hour. And then we can test the ride and see what happens. But first I'm gonna change it back to the observation tower. And now the ride cabin should pass the station and then speed up to eight miles per hour. So now it's rising pretty fast. And then the only problem is when it gets to the top, it's gonna to spin around and then it's gonna do something weird and then the door is open and it's it just doesn't really know what's happening. That is because we left the chain lift on for the top piece. So I'm gonna delete that, turn the chain lift off, rebuild that top piece. Now when we test the ride, it should work as it should, except the only problem is what's gonna happen now is once it's done spinning around at the top, it's not gonna be able to return because the chain lift is going to be pushing it upwards, as you can see here. So it can't return to the station. So basically what we need to do here is as you can see when you're constructing it, if I make the ride see-through, you can see that a vertical track piece takes up two tiles. Basically the method we're using in this tutorial is the same that I show in the vertical boosters video. So we're gonna open up the tile inspector. And so if we select the tile here that the tower is on, you can see all of the track pieces here. You can see them selected. But if we move over one tile, you can see the track pieces are still there, but they're just invisible. So we can see that base piece right there, but as you click on the other ones, they don't show up. So they're invisible, but they are there. So if we click on each one and disable the chain lift, this will allow the ride carriage to return back to the station. So I'll show you that here quickly. But basically, like I said, this is the same concept from my vertical boosters video, so you can check that out. But now the carriage cannot return because I left the chain lift on on that second to last piece. So if I turn it off and turn the rest of them off, it will be able to move down. Uh, but I messed it up. It got a little stuck at the top there. But as I turn off all these chain lift pieces, it should now work. Basically, as long as the tile where the track is invisible, all of the chain lifts are turned off, but the chain lift is turned on for the tower tiles where you can see the tower, everything should work as it should. So now I sped it up and we can see that the ride is now able to return to the station and function normally just with a faster ride to the top. Now let's try another example with the roto drop tower, but this time I just built it normally without the chain lift turned on. So we're gonna go in the tile inspector and then turn the chain lift on for every single track piece that is visible on that tower tile. So we'll just apply the chain lift for all of those. And then we change the ride to a roller coaster so we can up the lift chain speed to let's say 10 miles per hour and change it back to a roto drop tower. And then we can give it a test and Let's see how fast it rises to the top. So it's moving quite fast at 10 miles per hour. Probably didn't need that fast, but here we have it at the top. And then when it's ready to drop, there is gonna be a problem because I had the chain lift turned on for that top piece, that top track piece in the tile inspector. So let's reopen the tile inspector and make sure that track on the top, turn the chain lift off, and then we shouldn't have that problem. So basically when you're building these rides, make sure that top track piece does not have the chain lift turned on. That's very important. And then now the ride's gonna drop and it works just like we want it to. But one thing to note is that make sure the ride is not set as a roller coaster when it returns to the station, like in this example, because it will get stuck at the station or I think it blows up on the launch free fall. So then you have to reset the ride. So just make sure it's set to roto drop when it's returning to the station. Now moving on to the launched free fall, I've already done everything in the tile inspector. So this should speed up here. You can see it going up a little bit faster. And then as it drops down, there's gonna be a problem and then it's gonna go up again because those chain lift pieces are 
pushing the ride up to the top. So basically, I think it's the fourth track piece above the station right here. That's the problem. So if we turn the chain lift off, when the ride bounces back up, it will then fall back down. So that's the piece right there that you need to have the chain lift turned off if you want to use this on the downward launching free falls. But it does look a little weird because it's going to speed up now out of the station and then slow down right there and then speed up again. So it's not ideal. So sometimes I turn the chain lift off on all of the track pieces below that fourth piece all the way to the station. But then it's going to rise very slowly for quite a while until it speeds up after that fourth track piece up there. So this looks better for much taller towers, but you can set it up however you'd like. Now moving on to our final example, we have the elevator. So I had the chain lift turned on as I built this, but made sure I turned it off for that station platform at the top and then give it an entrance and exit. And then we need to change it to a roller coaster so we can change the lift speed to something like 15 miles per hour because the elevator already moves pretty fast when it's empty. I think it goes up at like 10 miles per hour. Make sure it's in shuttle mode, but it should be by default and change it back to an elevator. And then as we test it, it's going to speed up like so. And then it's not gonna be able to return because I need to now turn off the chain lifts on the invisible tile. So this tile right there, make sure the chain lift is turned off. So it's probably easier just to build it without the chain lift turned on and then just turn it on manually, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna show you if you speed it up faster than what we had it at. So let's say 25 miles per hour you can run into this problem where it will overshoot the station and then get stuck here at the top. So it was going too fast and didn't stop at the station. So to avoid this, you can either slow down the chain lift speed or turn off the chain lift on a few track pieces before the station. Now we can test it and it should still be a nice speedy elevator at 19 miles per hour. And there you have it. So you can either build these rides with the chain lift turned on and then turning it off in the tile inspector for those invisible tile track pieces, or you can just build the ride normally and then go into the tile inspector and turn the chain lift on for the visible track pieces. I hope that all makes sense. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm gonna be giving you a tour of this park I just built called Rainbow Towers, featuring lots of new rides like a carousel where the horses move up and down, a wave swinger, a madhouse, and a tilt coaster. So stay tuned for more.